Hello, everyone. Welcome to this talk. My name is Zhi Chuang, and I'm from Northeastern University. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Mind Your Weights, a large-scale study on insufficient machine learning model protection in mobile apps. Now, AI or machine learning are becoming very important for smartphones. According to the market research, by the year of 2022, the smartphones that are released with AI chips will grow to 75%. At the same time, there are more AI tasks on smartphones, including AI camera, voice assistant, augmented reality, facial regulation, OCR, or even battery management. There are two types of machine learning service on smartphones, the cloud-based machine learning and the on-device machine learning. For the cloud-based machine learning, the models are stored in the cloud and the smartphones send a machine learning request to the model in the cloud and get results. For the on-device machine learning, the models are stored on each individual smartphones. There are several benefits with on-device machine learning, like low latency, requires no network, and avoids uh, sending user private data onto the cloud, so it has better user data privacy. However, it has a risk of leakage for the machine learning models. And machine learning models as core IP of model vendors that make it a serious privacy problem for machine learning models. We start our research with three questions. First, how widely is model protection used in apps? Second, how robust are existing model protection techniques? Third, what impact can stolen models incur? We connect more than 45,000 apps from Android stores in both US and China, including Google Play, Tencent, and 360 mobile. All the apps labeled new and trending or are recently updated are connected because they have a higher chance of using machine learning technology. We built a static app analysis tool called Model X3 to analyze whether an app uses on device machine learning or not. We also extract information like machine learning SDK libraries model files, including whether they are encrypted or not. For those apps that do protect their models, like encrypt their models, we built a dynamic app analysis tool called Model Extractor to instrument the app and evaluate how hard it is to steal the decrypted models. Our static analysis tool, Model X-Ray, is effective at discovering machine learning apps. And it's simple by design. It identifies machine learning models and libraries with keywords matching and filtering, and it detects encrypted models with fail entropy. And it's also effective. Uh, Mod X3 identify machine learning apps with a low false positive and uh, false negative rate. Uh, you can refer to our paper for more uh, accuracy analysis. To ask question one, how widely is model protection used in apps? Uh, among the 46,753 apps, we identified 1,468 machine learning apps. Among them, 59% encrypt their models. Here shows the total apps and uh, among them, the machine learning apps and the protected machine learning apps. Uh, the pro proportion protected uh, is different from App Store to App Store. For Google Play, it's 26%. For Tencent, it's 49%. For 360 Mobile Assistant, it's 66%. Different machine learning frameworks also have different model protection rate. For open source frameworks like TensorFlow and CAN, they have relatively low protection rate, around 25%. For proprietary framework like SenseTem, it has higher protection rate. 
and it is understandable because it allows its models to the mobile developers uh, to charge them license fees. So it has a strong motivation to protect its models. Also, we find model reuse is common among different apps. Uh, we use model MD5 hash to identify reuse of models and many apps buy license from model vendor instead of developing their own models. And for example, for model vendor system, only 20% of its observed models are unique. We also find GPU acceleration usage is common for unrest machine learning. Um, we identified 54% of the machine learning apps use GPU for acceleration. And the, the security implication of GPU usage is that GPU needs to be shared with non-secure world. So that's not trusted. Uh, however, it makes it hard to protect machine learning apps because simply moving machine learning into the secure world will lose access to GPU accelerator. Question two, how robust are existing model protection techniques? To answer this question, we developed a tool called model extractor uh, to, that can extract decrypted models from memory. Uh, our assumption is encrypted models needs to be decrypted in memory before usage. So we can instrument the machine learning app and dump the decrypted model buffers at runtime. Before we show the workflow of model extractor, let's first show the typical model loading and the decrypting process. For a machine learning app, when the machine learning functionality is triggered and it first check SDK license, if passed, it fetch decryption key and adequate buffer and decrypt the model and pass model, freeze the model buffer and then start model inference. So for our Model extractor, it has one default strategy, which captures the model when the model buffer is freed or deallocated. This is the most effective and the strategy and requires least manual effort. If it doesn't work, we have four other alternative strategies, which requires more manual effort, including capture the model from the heap, capture the model when the model is loaded, capture the model when it's decrypted, or kept the model where at a customized deallocation interface. When we apply model extractor on real apps, uh, we prioritize those apps with popular models, which means highly reused because it helps maximize the impact of analyzed models. We also prioritize apps that use different machine learning frameworks so as to maximize our machine learning framework coverage. We find model extractor is effective at extracting models. We extract models from 18 apps among the 29 uh, machine learning triggered apps. And here shows the distribution of the apps that we tested uh, with their machine learning func functionality triggered. And here shows the apps that their models are successfully extracted. As we can see, uh, we covered most of the framework. Considering model reuse, our extracted models affects 346 machine learning apps. Here are the highlights of the apps that leak their models. Uh, for example, eight apps are downloaded more than 10 million times. And uh, that's why we anonymized the name of the app and to protect the app and the users. Uh, there are also six different machine learning frameworks, uh, including TensorFlow, Cafe, System, Face++, Madu, and so on. And also seven of the models, uh, apps has models reused more than 10 times. And two of them are extracted with our default strategy from the fruit buffer. During our analysis, we find model vendors are actually trying hard to protect the models. For example, we see one app encrypt both the code and the model. We see one app encrypt feature vector and its sequence. Also, another app encrypt models multiple times. Even though model vendors are trying really hard to protect their models, they still suffer from our unsophisticated 
a dynamic analysis. Now let's come to question three. What impact can stolen models incur? For financial impact, our analysis shows the financial impact can amount to millions of dollars. For the attacker, it can save the research and development costs, as well as the model license fee. For uh, model vendors, if their models get leaked, they lose competition and pricing advantage over its competitors. Uh, for the security impact, we find um, once the model gets leaked, it will make it easier for the attacker to bypass model-based authentication, like the leverage detection to verify real person. It's commonly used among the banking apps or P2P uh, online loan apps to verify the loaner's uh, identity. Also, if the model gets leaked due to the model uh, membership inference attacks, the private user information of the training data on which the model is tra trained on uh, will be leaked. So there's both a uh, security and the privacy issue if the model gets leaked. Uh, here's a summary of the existing methods for model protection, and they are vulnerable as we have analyzed. Uh, for first is file encryption based. We have shown that the models can be easily extracted from memory after decryption. We are also aware of the obfuscation uh, techniques. Uh, however, even though the model can be obfuscated, but it doesn't prevent reuse of the model. Uh, some model vendors uh, do not disclose their model format, even though it make it a bit harder for us to uh, understand the model. However, it still suffers from documentation leakage or reverse engineering. We did our responsible disclosure to 12 major vendors. And five of them responded. Uh, for the vendors that are already protecting their models, our disclosure raised internal discussion on improving the model security, and they are also seeking advice and collaboration with us to improve their model security. For the vendors that do not protect their models, two vendors are unaware of the leakage or the impact. Two vendors says they are aware of the leakage and the impact, but they have no good solution yet. In summary, our analysis shows 60% of machine learning apps protect their models. Among them, Two thirds analyzed apps with encrypted models suffers from our unsophisticated analysis, affecting 300 plus protected machine learning apps. Model leakage has both financial and security impact. The takeaway message is we need more research into protecting undeveloped machine learning models to mitigate this serious privacy problem. Thank you. And if you want to connect with authors, he has contact information. And our project is also open source on GitHub. Now I'm ready to take questions.